Hi guys, it's WeFan360 here, and I know, I know, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, and because, don't count the reaction video to the Lion King trailer as a video, technically. Technically, this is all related to Toy Story Show-wise. So, um, it just, I know it's been a while, I have no excuse, and I'm gonna talk about that in this video, so, like I said in my story time video, this is optional to watch. Um, you, I'm not forcing you guys to watch it, I can't stop you. So, um, just to let you guys know this is optional, but uh, just to let you guys know that this is pretty important because it's about my channel, and if you fans out there care about my channel, you'll, you'll watch it and stuff like that, so I'm not forcing you, and this is optional, so yeah, for the people who care about my videos, you can watch it if you want. So, yeah, um, so I have been gone, well, you guys haven't seen a Toy Story show in, like, weeks. You probably haven't seen it in, like, three or four weeks. So three or four weeks ago, probably almost four weeks ago, you guys saw the last Toy Story show, which is Sonic's Nightmare. Um, you know, that's been out for quite a while, and, um, you guys haven't seen the new Toy Story show yet. And I'm not going to spoil the title, because I want to, but I'm not going to, because I want you guys to be surprised and stuff like that. So, um... Yeah, and I'm going to tell you the reason why. There's two reasons why I left. Um, one is school. So, school, it, like, it feels like school overpowers my YouTube channel so much. Like, you plus YouTubers out there, you probably have a way to balance school, if you have school, and your YouTube channel at the same time. Yet You have a way to balance that. For me, I feel like when I have a scale and I put my school and my YouTube channel at the same time, I try to balance it, but for some reason, the the scale is uneven, if you guys know what I'm saying. School overpowers my YouTube channel so much, and I'm going to tell you why. My, I'm one of those students where I work nonstop, like, I'm one of those, I'm not YouTubers, God, one of those students who works nonstop, like, Every time I finish work in class, I do extra work for other classes. Like, nonstop till the whole hour is gone. And stuff like that. And yes, sometimes I have free time because sometimes I just draw or, draw or color or some, some other things I can do on my free time when I finish all my work. But it's teachers of mine, like, especially my U.S. teacher, teacher because she gives us, like, nonstop work all the time. And it's really, really ridiculous. I had to f finish, like, four, yeah, four probably like three or four assignments from her. It's ridiculous. So she, she's probably the only one who gives us a lot of work. But other teachers don't give me that much work. But uh, some teachers actually let us do our homework in class and stuff like that and finish it on time and stuff like that, which is really awesome. A lot of teachers of mine do that. But um, there are they still give us work like nonstop, like my teachers sometimes do, especially my U.S. history teacher. And then I, I have study hall for my last hour, which is amazing because it's the last hour, first of all. And second of all, I could just do work. And then when I get home, I have no work to do at home and stuff like that. And I could just film scenes when I get home. But the problem is school tires me out so much that every time I get home, well, one, I walk, I walk to and back from school all the time every day now. My mom used to take me to school and back from school, but since it's spring and since it's nice out now, I could just start walking to and back from school and stuff like that. But when I walk back to school, I get really tired. But first, I have a salad because I have salads every time I get home. I have at least one salad every day when I get home or at least one day uh, um, on the weekends as well. So I practically have, you know, salads once every day. And stuff like that, and I I fit, and I have a drink with it too. So after I finish my salad and after I finish my drink, I watch stuff on my phone and stuff like that because I just got back from walking. I'm extremely exhausted and stuff like that because my my house is not that far from school. Actually, it's like a like four blocks away. Well, not four blocks. I wouldn't say that. Probably like yeah, probably like it takes like a pro probably like ten or fifteen minutes to get there. So it's not that far away. Um, but, um, it still tires me out a lot, um, to get back from school and to school, actually. My feet actually hurts really bad when I walk to school and back from school. So, I just watch stuff on my phone for a little bit before I film scenes. But every time I put my phone down, lay on the side of my bed, and stuff like that, I just, I just pass out like that. I, I fall, I feel like I fainted, but I clearly didn't because I just fell asleep. And stuff like that. And it, 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 it's because of school, really. School, I do too much work. And I work really too hard to just to stop. I don't stop ever. But when I get back from school, 
uh, back from school, I can just I could just start taking a nap and stuff like that, and just relax and all that stuff. And I pass out, and then next thing I know, when I wake up, I check my phone, check the time, and I'm like, ah, oh, shoot, it's like seven o'clock at night and stuff like that. And that takes me. I gotta start putting. I, I'm thinking about a new schedule where I could just take a nap, and then I have to sleep at this time, and then I could try to wake up at this time, and then I could just. I'm going to start having a schedule for my day and stuff like that so that I can, you know, start filming scenes and stuff like that. But I woke up, it was like 7 o'clock at, at, uh, during the evening, and I'm like, oh, shoot, I need to film scenes and stuff like that. And I'm like, I need to film scenes when it's light outside. And I, like, I missed that chance because it started getting dark out. And I don't know why, guys. It's just, that's one of the reasons why I haven't been filming much scenes lately. That's one of the reasons. I'll tell you the other reason in a second. But that's one of the reasons is because school has been overpowering my YouTube channel. It makes me tired. It makes me more exhausted in my YouTube channel. Guys, honestly, I treat my YouTube channel just like how I treat school. I try to work really hard. I try to put the effort I can. And I just work on it. I have a schedule for it, too. Like, I have to film scenes on this day. And then I have to film on the uh, these scenes on the other day. And all that stuff. I have to film scenes on the weekend. And stuff like that. And it's... I, I always fall asleep because of school, because school just, I work way too hard, and I put too much effort in school, and all that stuff, I don't ever take breaks, and stuff like that, and I don't know that, I'm one of those students, honestly, guys, I gotta admit, I, I just, I care my, about my educate, education way too much to stop, like, way too much, I want to graduate, I want to graduate on the year I'm supposed to graduate, so I can have my own future, and stuff like that, live the life, live the dream I told you guys about, and... I, I don't want to fail my parents, and I don't want to fail ev everybody. I don't want to let my parents down. I don't want them to dis be disappointed because I didn't graduate on the, uh, on the year I'm supposed to and stuff like that. I don't want to let them down and stuff like that. And I wait, I work way too hard, and I don't want to stop and stuff like that. I barely have friends anyways, so I just I don't really talk to people, so I just work on my stuff and stuff like that. And, you know, and besides, students of mine get annoying. Like, my... Students I see at school is annoying. I, I feel like mostly everyone. Not everyone, because a lot of students are actually really nice and stuff like that. Some students are like me, who works and work and work. And just doesn't, you know, cause the teachers too much trouble. And stuff like that. And, you know, I see a lot of students like that. But most of my students at my school are just either rude or annoying or something like that. Like, there's a guy in my fifth hour class who keeps turning on and off the lights. And keeps making these weird noises. And I, I'm always working on my stuff. And then every time he does all that stuff, I get, I just roll my eyes and I get really annoyed. It feels like I want to just like yell yell out, just shut up and stuff like that. And I don't want to because I don't want to cause a dramatic scene or something like that, like a drama scene or something like that. I, But in my head, I want to say shut up like so bad and stuff like that. So, yeah, most of my students are pretty much annoying. Um, You know, that boy, I, uh, well, it's a boy, first of all, who made that noises and keeps flipping on and off the lights. I feel like he's just so immature like he's just such a child he's like a man child in a way so I don't know I just I can't stand boys at school like that like I think he's like the only one who does that really he probably just wants attention and stuff like that which I get but he can't he can't do all that because people are gonna get annoyed with that and stuff like that but yeah so guys that's one of the reasons uh school has been overpowering my youtube channel a lot and i've been really tired ever since i get back from school like every time i get back from school i just pass out and stuff like that and that just that that you know that um twi uh that turns around my sleeping schedule too like my now my sleeping schedule is like wrong in a way like i can't sleep on this time i always sleep at this time which is like 11 or 12 o'clock at night and stuff like that and i always wake up at six super tired and stuff like that. So my sleeping schedule is kind of off now. So I'm trying to work on a, I, like I'm trying to put an alarm on my phone where I can sleep on this time and I can wake up on this time. So that's probably my new plan. Uh, so I can start uh, filming scenes and stuff like that in the week uh, while I'm at school. If I don't have any homework or anything, I could just sleep at this time, wake up at this time, and then film scenes uh, when it's still day out. So yeah, um, yeah, that's one of the reasons. Uh, I hope you guys understand. I'm sorry that I've been lacking with that uh, just because of that reason. But I am thinking about a new way to wake up on the right time I'm supposed to wake up and just film scenes and stuff like that. But yeah, but at least I filmed like three or four scenes for the new Toy Story show. Um, but I still need to film a lot more scenes. I still, I'm actually doing this video super early because I'm filming all day today 
and hopefully I'll get done filming probably tomorrow and then I start editing and then hopefully if I'm done editing maybe it'll be out on Sunday or Monday either one I don't know um but yeah but since I have study hall I got a lot more free time for my videos so it's really it's a really good thing so um yeah so I'm going to talk about the other reason why I have been lacking a little bit so school is one thing but another thing is that on the weekends where I, I want to film I I I don't care about filming that much anymore. Not not that because I don't care about my channel. I do care about my channel. I want my channel to grow. That's why I'm starting to edit now because I want to prove to you guys that I'm worthy of having a good uh, YouTube channel and stuff like that. So I am not saying I don't care about my channel. I still do. It's just that filming and editing wise, I don't feel like filming the Toy Story show. That's the thing. I'm I, I'm always up to filming reactions because those are like the easiest ones to have on my channel. Easiest ones to make and stuff like that um, because it's just you reacting to a video that you choose to react to and stuff like that. Um, But Toy Story show wise, I don't really feel like filming scenes and I don't really feel like editing, se uh, editing scenes as well. Um, like that's how I am on the weekends not the week but because I have school and stuff like that and school tires me out a lot but weekend wise I just can't I just can't film much scenes uh that much anymore and I remember when I started my YouTube channel in 2016 I remember filming like, at least like three or four videos every day and stuff like that probably not every day but like once every other day and stuff like that like four or three videos and of course I grew and of course my channel grew so of course I slowed down on my videos a little bit more and stuff like that have at least a video for the weekend and stuff like that and some videos like this where it's optional well I'm gonna start saying that like every time I do a face-to-face -face cam like this video is optional for you guys to watch because I don't want to feel like I'm forcing you and I don't want to I don't want you guys to feel like I'm doing this for the attention and stuff like that because I always have I have a fear now where you guys watch this video and you guys think I'm on this with the attention which I'm not so yeah, so just to make sure, I'm not like my sister, okay? But, um, yeah, so I don't really care about filming Toy Story shows anymore. Like, I I know how much all, mostly all of you love the series, and I'm going to keep doing the series. Like, I don't know what specific series the, um, the you know, I don't know what specific season. Um, did I say, se yeah, season. Um, I don't know what official season is going to end the series, but... Uh, we don't know what the future holds, but I actually do have official day. I'm probably going to stop my YouTube channel, but I don't want to make this as emotional, so I'll just say it right in the end. So I don't want to say, I don't want you guys to think that this is an emotional uh, video. I'm just going to say it right in the end. But, um, yeah, um, I just, I don't care about my uh, filming scenes that much anymore. And there, uh, another reason is that since I grew and since my channel grew, I'm in my mind, like, you guys are probably thinking, Alicia thinks, um, Alicia probably does this so easy when she's an individual and stuff like that. And, yeah, you may, she makes it so easy to do this by herself and stuff like that. Um, really, in a way, it's not because I, I'm at that point where I think in my mind saying, oh, my God, this is way too hard for me to film. Like, this is way too hard to film scenes by myself, to edit scenes by myself and all that stuff. Voice all my characters by myself. All that because as an individual YouTuber and as a individual person for a plus channel, uh, you have to voice all your characters. You have to s film scenes all by yourself with the voice uh, with the characters you voice, uh, which is practically all your characters, and you have to edit. To me, as an individual, because I know there's plus YouTubers that probably does individual YouTube stuff and does it by themselves. But to me, I feel like that's very hard and probably some of you guys who does this individually and are, you guys are at that point where you feel like I can do this now. Like this is easy now for an individual and I'm, I'm, I'm over doing like I'm kind of over it trying to do this by myself and stuff like that. Um, to me, I feel like it's hard to do this individually. Because I know there's plus YouTubers who have someone else because it's probably easier for them because they have someone else to work with and stuff like that. To me, I have no one to do that. My, f you know, everyone else doesn't care about my channel, honestly. I mean, you guys do clearly, but, you know, real life wise, other than Samantha, because I know Samantha loves my channel and stuff like that. Um, like other people, even my family, well, my family watch my videos once in a while, not all day thing, but once in a while thing. Um. But my sister clearly doesn't watch my videos, and my friends doesn't watch my videos other than Samantha. 
they clearly don't care about my videos and that heart that like they, that breaks it that breaks my heart a little bit um it just it it's and they don't like being on camera and stuff like that and I, i'm like saying you don't have to be on camera you just have to voice the characters and stuff like that and um i i i just i don't know why i mean Yes, I this is easy for me now, but now I'm just thinking it it used to be easy for me. Like when uh, when in 2016, I didn't know what I was doing and stuff like that. I was just filming videos and stuff like that, uploading them, all that stuff. Um, but now since I got an older, I'm thinking in my mind like, oh my god, like has it always been this hard? Like seriously, like has it always been this hard? Um, like I said before individual plus youtubers are probably used to it now but to me i'm not used to it at all i'm just i'm like getting annoyed by it but in a way because i thought me doing this individually will make it easy for me will make it do what i want to do and stuff like that instead of you know being so patient with you know other members who would join my channel but to me i feel like it's easier working with another person than by yourself in a way so um other plus YouTubers have uh, someone else to work with. It probably makes it way easier um, to work with someone instead of doing this by yourself. Um, so with my plush, uh, with my plush series, um, I just I feel like it's been getting harder for me since I know how to edit now and I have to voice my characters and film scenes all by myself and all that stuff. It's been way too hard for me, guys, and I have to admit it because it's been in my mind for a while. It's probably i probably been thinking about this probably since last year when I started, like, when I started making it more, like, probably, like, last year in 2018, probably in, like, probably when I started doing outside scenes. I don't know, really. I, I know it was in 2018, but I think it was in the middle of 2018 or a little bit after uh, the middle, but I don't know. It was in 2018 some point. but it's been, it's been on my mind so long, and I have to, com I have to confess to you guys that it has been getting harder for me and I don't want it, I don't want that stopping my plush series. I'm still going to continue the Toy Story show. Don't worry about it. Um because I do want to work hard for you guys. I used to give up so easy on my channel like guys, I, you guys remember those depression videos I gave you guys? I don't want to give you guys those again cuz that brings down my channel a lot. That brings down a lot of points of my channel a lot. Um, and I, I remember saying that I'm probably going to give up on my channel. I, pr I feel like quitting and stuff like that. And a lot of you guys got annoyed with it. And it kind of bothered me a little bit. It's like I let you guys down. And I didn't want to let you guys down because you guys are important. You guys, you guys made me into the person I am today without you guys and without this channel. I mentioned this uh, a couple times now. Without you guys and without this channel, I'm nothing and stuff like that. I was depressed before I made this channel. But when I made this channel and after you guys changed me a lot, it changed me and then stuff like that. And I don't want to let you guys down with this channel. And I'm not going to because I'm almost at 300 subscribers. And I, I want to try to hit 300 subscribers before the end of my school year. I'm hoping for that. But, um, yeah, I just, I don't want to let you guys down. I don't want to let you guys down like I did before. I just, I feel like, I feel like I'm going to let you guys down if I end my series. So I'm not going to end my series for sure. Um, I'm probably going to hit like probably season 7 or something like that. Season 7 or season 6. I'm probably going to end my series. But I'm going to get to uh, the part where I told you guys that I'm going to um, confess my official day. I'm going to end my channel. For sure it's not this year. Don't think it's about this year. It's definitely not this year. Um... So, um, yeah, so that's another reason why I've been lacking a little bit. I haven't been caring any less about my YouTube, uh, my plush, uh, series that much than I usually do. Um, so guys, please understand, I'm trying to work so hard. I'm trying to think of a new schedule where I could just film scenes and I could sleep at the same time after school. And then I'm going to try to put as much courage or as much, like, I'm going to have the urge I'm going to for now have the urge to start filming scenes and stuff like that because I'm always going to think in my mind saying I can't let my fans down. I have to get up and film and stuff like that. And yeah, um, for those plus YouTubers out there who has a partner to work with with your channel, 
you guys are lucky. I have to admit, you guys are lucky to have someone to work with, uh, work with, because honestly, obviously, none of my people care. None of the people I know cares and stuff like that about my channel and about working with me and stuff like that, which is sad, I know, but hey, it's life, and it, I don't, I don't force them to help me at all, really, because I'm a nice person. I'm not, I'm not pushing people around to just help me and stuff like that. It's sad, I know, but you guys are, you people out there who has someone to work with your channel is lucky to have you because honestly it's not easy doing this by yourself and stuff like that so I'm happy you guys have someone I wish I had that I always pray to God saying maybe I can have work with someone one day maybe I can just work with someone help me with my channel or maybe collab with someone or something like that so I can make it easier for me and stuff like that I've been praying for that and I feel like it's not gonna happen anytime soon for sure but I'm hoping that'll happen in the future Maybe when I end my channel, maybe I can just start collabing so I don't have to leave, you know, I don't have to leave my legacy and stuff like that. Leave, you know, leave YouTube and stuff like that. And I don't want to let that happen. So, yeah, um, yeah, so those are the two reasons. School's one thing, but thinking about how hard it is is the second thing, honestly. Um, it's those are the two reasons, but yeah, so guys, um, Man, this is 21 minutes, so I should start, I should say, uh, the day I'm officially ending my channel and stuff like that. Uh, the day I'm, I don't have a specific day, don't worry about it. I have a year when I'm gonna start ending my channel, but, yeah, so, uh, the year I'm gonna start ending my channel is the year when I start college. So, yes, I am leaving my channel after, uh, when I start college. Sadly to say because after college I want to live my life and stuff like that and college is probably going to be way harder than any grade that you've been in so yeah college work is basically you getting prepared for your future and stuff like that and working on the career you want to work with which I have two guys um I don't know if I told you guys uh but my two careers I'm planning to do in the future is either art where it's art in general it could be animation art where you can work on a tv show with others and stuff like that or just art where you could just paint stuff and you can get money for it and stuff like that that type of career and my other uh career i'm planning to do is veterinarian stuff which is basically focused with animals because since i'm so good with dogs and cats and stuff like that i'm thinking that veterinarian type of thing can work out for me and stuff like that those are the two jobs i'm thinking about i don't know what i feel like veterinarian thing uh will be the easiest one but art is what i'm passionate about so i don't know which one i'm going for but we'll we'll see we'll we'll see what the future holds and stuff like that so yes i am ending my channel uh, uh during my time in college so yeah because I'm going to start packing probably, I'm going to probably start packing my Toy Story stuff away and stuff like that. Taking things down, putting things in boxes and stuff like that. Um, I, I don't want to make this uh, too emotional, but it's going to happen eventually. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put everything in boxes and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not throwing them away. Don't think about that. I'm always going to keep them because I said this, I don't know if I said this in the, Wayne Duffy, the last Wayne Duffy Duck video or my story time. Yeah, I said this in the Wayne Duffy Duck reaction video. If you guys keep your toys you had in your childhood, just keep it in a box, store it away, and then when you have kids, you have a bunch of toys for your kids to play with. Honestly, it's it's like the easiest way you guys don't have to, like, you guys can save money and stuff like that and all that stuff. So you could just pack your toys away, and then when you have kids, just give it to them because it's, it's probably what I'm going to do because I don't care if they get wrecked or something like that. But, um, because they're old, they're gonna be old anyways, they're gonna be all dusty and stuff like that, so, yeah, um, yeah, that's my, that's my strategy, to just save up money, it's just store your toys away and stuff like that, because I have a lot of that, I have a lot of toys, I have Jack, I have my Toy Story toys, I have, um, Pokemon stuff, um, Sonic and Mario stuff, I, I can just keep it all for my kids in the future, but, uh, yeah, that's my strategy, but, yeah, all right, guys, I think I'm gonna get out of here, it's pretty long, so, that's my announcement of how I've been feeling with my channel so far. Guys, trust me, I'm gonna make a new schedule for my channel, because I am tired of waking up, like, at 7 o'clock at night, thinking about not filming scenes at all, so, yeah, um, I hope you guys understand, sorry to make this very long, I hope I didn't bore you guys or anything, I just wanted to be honest with you guys, and all that stuff because it has been in my mind for a while so 
yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I got to film scenes uh, all day today and probably a little bit tomorrow, and then I'm going to start editing. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get this uploaded on Sunday or Monday. If not, maybe Tuesday. I'm not sure, but so some point next week I will get that uploaded for you guys. So, yeah, all right, guys, this is WeFan360 signing off. Goodbye, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.